We have heard from an array, array of witnesses today uh, the compelling picture of what's really at stake here, uh, up to $5 trillion of value uh, held in America's intellectual property, and in particular in the form of trade secrets. Uh, we have criminal law uh, prosecutions for the protection of trade secret theft. The Economic Espionage Act is a good platform, a good beginning. Uh, but as we've heard from you today as witnesses, there are significant gaps. Uh, and I applaud uh, the chair today, Senator Whitehouse and Senator Graham, for their hard work in improving um, efforts to deal with that. Uh, the Department of Justice has uh, many priorities and limited resources, and so it's unsurprising to me that there were just 25 trade secret cases brought last year before he leaves. Um, I need to say my profound personal thanks to Senator Hatch uh, for being a great partner and a good leader on this issue. Well, it's the uh, same here. This, this young man has really done a very good job on this. We hope we can get this through for you. He even got a young man out of it. <laughs> um, well, I, I should refer to you as one, too, but I just can't. <laughs> as a former intern for this uh, committee, I will say that uh, I never imagined there'd be a day when uh, Senator Hatch would be uh, patting me on the shoulder and saying, I look forward to passing a bill with this nice young man, um, <laughs> when at the time I was mostly passing cups of coffee. Um, it, it is a tremendous uh, sense of satisfaction um, that I've gotten through working uh, with Senator Hatch uh, and with Eli Lilly and a number of other uh, companies represented uh, here today, uh, and I'm grateful to the National Association of Manufacturers uh, and the uh, Coalition for the Protection of Trade Secrets, the Protect Trade Secrets Coalition, uh, for their very able uh, and valued input uh, as we've crafted this bill and tried to get uh, to a place that makes sense uh, and that can, have, can help stem the gap uh, in U.S. Um, law to ensure that we really vigorously defend uh, trade secrets. Let me ask a series of questions quickly of the panel, if I might, uh, before I run out of time. Um, first, uh, if I might, Mr. Hoffman, Boeing does business uh, globally as your um, testimony uh, thoroughly uh, demonstrates. Um, most of the significant threats to U.S. trade secrets today originate uh, from other countries around the world. Can you speak to how respect for trade secret theft varies around the world uh, and how our laws domestically and what we might enact in terms of measures to strengthen our domestic laws could then influence the protection of U.S. IP internationally? I'd be glad to, and thank you for the question, uh, Senator Coons. Um, when you look at trade secret theft, regardless of whether it's coming from domestic or international, it, it hurts Boeing, it hurts other companies. Uh, but I think the best thing we can do as a country is to, uh, is to set the standard uh, uh, and, and provide the tools necessary for efficient and effective uh, uh, protection of our trade secrets and give those, uh, those standards to our trade negotiators to press the issue with their counterparts. I couldn't agree more, and I appreciate uh, that response. If I might, Mr. Greenblatt, uh, for Marlin Steel, an admirable um, small manufacturer that has grown significantly under your leadership, um, trade secret theft can pose an existential threat. Um, if it, uh, if a, um, a, a thief succeeds in stealing, as you put it, your secret sauce, uh, it can literally mean the end of the business. In your case, very harmful to Eli Lilly or Boeing or Microsoft or others, but uh, for a firm like Marlin Steel, um, a loss of trade secrets could literally mean the end. Um, and securing your trade secrets and then asserting your rights uh, in court can also be significantly expensive relative to the size of your business. And I saw this in my own experience as in-house counsel for a manufacturing firm. Can you speak to um, how the existence of a federal private right of action would reduce the cost of protecting your trade secrets and now having one uniform federal standard uh, might strengthen your ability uh, to go after uh, those who would steal your trade secrets? The Defend Trade Secrets Act is very well crafted. It's gonna help us uh, go around the state system, which is very inefficient, it's very slow, and it's very expensive. Little companies can't afford having lawyers in five different states on retainers uh, trying to go after a bad actor. It would be much more elegant if we could have a federal jurisdiction on this matter, It'd be much more efficient, uh, the Coons Hatch bill, your bill, would tremendously uh, accelerate our ability to stop bad actors and get good results. Thank you. If I might, Mr. Chairman, one last question, Mr. Norman. Um, Mr. Norman, just thank you again uh, for your hard work and leadership. And in particular, one of the sections we worked on was the ex parte injunctive relief. Um, if you'd explain why an authority like that is particularly important to Eli Lilly or to other companies facing trade secret theft. Yes, sir. We uh, often 
run into situations where we find that uh, an ex-employee has, has left and uh, is going to work for a competitor and we find out something such that in, in, uh, once they turn in their uh, Lily issued computer that there's been a download of a number of documents which contain uh, highly confidential uh, Lily trade secrets. Uh, these occurrences almost always happen on a late Friday afternoon. Uh, and therefore, uh, the best part, I believe, about the ex parte um, seizure uh, aspect of the, um, of the bill that's, that's, that's currently pending is the fact that we could go to federal court and in one action kick out a, an ounce of prevention rather than worrying about a pound of cure a week or two later when we can get the Indiana State Courts involved or the New Jersey State Courts involved or perhaps both the Indiana and New Jersey State Courts involved, uh, leading to a whole lot more uh, expense if we have to go through state court, a whole lot more uh, risk because we may not be able to isolate and seize the stolen materials as quickly. Uh, and therefore, a federal cause of action where we can go to a single court and institute the power of the uh, federal court system to see stolen materials would be uh, extraordinarily helpful in those situations, and I thank you for your leadership on this bill. Thank you, Mr. Norman and uh, Ms. Passman, for your estimate, if, I, if my math is right, that it's 150 to 450 billion a year. Trade secret theft is a big deal. Senator Whitehouse, Senator Graham, your leadership in strengthening the criminal law protections for American companies is admirable, and I very much look forward to working with you to pass these two bills in tandem in a way that can um, strengthen the defenses for the inventions and innovations of uh, millions of Americans and thousands of companies. Thank you, Senator.